In this tutorial I'll give you an overview of how to get started with VRGS. To start the software double click the icon on the desktop and that will start the program and give you the startup tab which is a direct link to the VRGS tutorials site on the vrgscience.com website. You'll be able to find a set of tutorials on a whole variety of different things you can do with VRGS here. To start a project we go to the globe in the top left hand corner, click that and select new. Navigate to where you want to save your project and give your project a name. I'm going to call this one Trevor Rocks after the locality of the data that we're going to use. So we save that and then that will bring us up a 3D model window. We've got our interpretations, collections and data tabs. If we want to import a mesh, we can right click on triangular meshes and go import. And we select the type of file that we want to import. So OBJ, PLY, whatever kind we have. But another way that we can also import the data, we can simply this is an OBJ file. I can simply drag and drop that into the VRGS signs, the into the VRGS window, and then we just have to wait. Okay, so that took a few minutes to load because this is a particularly large file. If we look at the, open it up in the data tab and select the mesh that we've just loaded, we can see that. This is uh, 47 million nodes and 15 million triangles. So it's quite a large data set, but this also has 16 uh, textures associated with it. So each one of these textures, as we can see from the properties here, is 4096 by 4096. So there's a lot of detail and even though we've got a large mesh with a large number of textures we can see that the rendering speed and the frame rates we're getting are pretty high. So that covers getting started, creating a new project and importing some data. Refer to the other tutorials on how to do interpretations.